Okay, so um, I prepared a book for you. <laughs> Two full pages. This is what we, um, how do you say, learned from the past decade, for over uh, almost 10 years of Force Asia. And I need to go through everything within uh, originally 10 minutes, but now I need to have my stage manager, Nayana, to try to do it in five minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you seen this picture before? Yeah. Okay, of course, right? So, um, okay, so this is the photo you've seen all over the place. Maybe some people get bored why they always use the same photo to advertise for the conference, right? But for me, it embodies so much what this community is, is about. We bring together people from all over the world to create open technology, to share technology and improve people's lives, like what Damini mentioned earlier. What do we want to do next? What can we do better? And how can we help more people, train more developers, and create better software and also hardware for everyone? So, for Asia, the team, and also our community, we come up with three areas that we want to focus on and I would like to share with you now. Number one, in 2018, it is our goal to improve the quality of the work of the Force Asia organization. So my uh, partner, Mario, he mentioned earlier, Force Asia is not only an event. We develop software. If you haven't um, encountered or have, haven't tried out any of our software, please Google Force Asia on GitHub. So I think there are over 200 repositories on GitHub of the Force Asia, right? and 1,000, the latest number, 1,500 something uh, contributors on our GitHub. Yeah. And um, we believe that the only way to move forward with the project, with the developments, is to provide the developers, contributors, the ownership and more responsibilities inside the project. So for Asia, we aim to develop more and more into an organization that provides a framework for projects. Therefore, we will continue to develop our programs like CodeHeat, which you will see more after my talk, open tech nights, organize meetups, participate in Google Summer of Code as well as Google Code In. And uh, we also plan to cooperate more with organization. I usually got a question like, why Force Asia in Singapore? Why don't we do it in uh, India, China? For example, of Vietnam, a lot of people want to go to Vietnam. Actually, the, the picture that you saw, like my profile picture was taken in Cambodia in 2010. It was um, nine years ago, eight years ago, yeah. So um, the answer is yes, we plan to expand our scope. Of course, we love India, home of most of uh, Force Asia developers, and China, my ancestral land. We are having an open tech summit in China at the end of summer and followed by another event in Vietnam during the winter this year. Okay, go to the second area, number two. We have made a very good experience with our best practices. Anyone read the Force Asia best practices? Have you seen it before somewhere online? Okay, so if you, again, if you Google uh, developer Force Asia best practices, I think it is a really, um, so um, how do you say, if it compresses a lot of information of many developers and organizers of, of Force Asia for the past um, few years, uh, a lot of useful information. So we have seen newcomers can progress very fast if they feel welcome, receive help and guidance from others. After they become participants in our programs, many contributors move on to become mentors for younger uh, and newcomers. We also see contributors got employed by large companies. So they, they contribute to Force Asia, they improve their GitHub profile, because they contribute so much to open source, they also get well known into the community and got hired by companies like Google, Microsoft, uh, Oracle, and many more. But the good thing is they still continue the engagement with the community. This is so wonderful, right? Okay, so 
what I want. Uh, it's really quiet. I, I, yeah, I thought that, okay, so if the would like somebody would uh, <laughs> give some comment on that. Okay, so, so what, what brings we here until today? We would like to share our experience and um, uh, idea how we do a work on our project to other people. We, we plan to participate in more events, not only the Force Asia, but uh, we were in the um, CCC, Linux, uh, the Open Source Summit in North America, Fosnet, and many other. Uh, the new thing that we plan to do, we're going to set up a monthly flight course. One just happened about three days ago. And uh, we will also run a YouTube series on these topics about open source and how to roll your projects. So if you haven't checked out the Force Asia YouTube channel, please do so today. And uh, more videos about this topic uh, will come up. Yeah. Lastly, number three, a question that any organization encounters over time is how to ensure sustainability of your project. What setting do projects need to succeed? Why there are many non-profit organizations out there developing open technologies and force? We often see that people moving to companies that focus only on priority solutions prevent developers from continuing their engagement in the open tech community. At the same time, we see many projects that would have a great potential to be open source and commercially successful. Therefore, also a new thing, so we are starting a new dedicated Force Asia Accelerator that is specially for open source projects and we're inviting companies, investors and projects to team up with us. If you really think about it, a lot of people now they're talking about startups, so people want to become a founder as long as they have a, a new idea, they can open a company. But look at it in the, the open source community, they're not only an idea. So we have an established project and some good solution already out there. So there's a lot of potential to bring open source project into stack up and um, make commercial and make a commercial case. Uh, so we hope that um, we will launch the Force Asia Accelerator in the upcoming months. Okay, finally, I would like to, um, to say um, the world is so big, there's so many problems and always people feel, feel that injustice, right? And also here we destroy the environment every day, especially for those speakers who flew in from everywhere, like 20, 20 hours on the plane, <laughs> yeah? So we are part of this, but we also at the same time want to make a difference. Uh, we want to set an example for co collaboration across the border and cultures. So um, please join us and make this a success. First of all, if you are so bored and don't know what to do, take out your phone, take a picture of me and make a tweet on uh, the social network. We try to trending Singaporean Twitter for the next uh, few days. So the hashtag is at Force Asia. Uh, I wish everyone a very wonderful event full of sharing, new understanding and new collaboration. Thank you very much.